Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about seven prediction trends that I think is going to be coming along your way, everybody's way, very soon into 2024. Let's start with number one. Now, this applies to electric scooters and EUCs also, and I really hope going forward this is going to be the case. What we want more of is battery removal. I've done videos on my Blacken G3 Pro recently that has a fully removable battery. For example, if you live in an apartment, you can take it in and charge it instead of bringing in the whole scooter and plugging it in. A lot of other electric scooters seem to be coming along with the removable battery trend. I also hope that electric unicycles will actually start adopting this quite soon. And not only that, I would love to see, of course, more electric bikes instead of having a complete built-in sealed unit of a battery to have it completely removable for also safety reasons. Let me know your thoughts on the battery removal. Comment below and I will reply to you also through a YouTube short. The second one, of course, is security. Now, a lot of us would have had or heard of electric scooters getting stolen from our friends in public. A lot of electric scooters just have the keys or they simply don't have any type of security at all. So a lot of electric scooters are now adopting NFC security. So even if they stole your electric scooter, they actually have no way of accessing it and actually riding it. This would actually also be nice to see on EUCs just as a word of warning to everybody watching this. Please, if you have an iPhone or even an Android phone, please install some sort of tracker on your electric scooter. A friend of mine had their 010X stolen in public just over one week ago. He had so many modifications done to it. It was a really nice electric scooter, but he did have an Apple AirTag. Now, we have eight of them. He did have an Apple AirTag installed hidden under the deck compartment of his electric scooter and he was able to after assistance from the public authorities here he was able to track where that electric scooter was the authorities went and they retrieved the scooter and he luckily got it back now if he would have not have something like that installed on his very expensive electric scooter which was a 60 volt model he would have not been able to get that back so please start considering spending that little bit of money to install some sort of tracking device on your electric scooter, EUC or e-bike and of course spread the word and tell your friends. I'll also link the Apple AirTags in the description of this video if you just want to go and buy them from Amazon. Now of course unfortunately with what's happening around the world, inflation and everything else, you may have noticed that the price of electric scooters, EUCs and e-bikes is starting to go to the roof and I cannot see this coming down to be all anytime soon in the near future. And this is just one of the trends that is happening around the world. And I would have liked to get a really nice EUC, but the prices seem to be climbing and I just had to start saving more and just trying to keep putting money aside to get a, light, a really nice electric unicycle long range for myself it's just an unfortunate thing it is what it is if you want something bad you're going to get it at the end of the day this is the fourth trend that i think is going to be happening is of course we want higher quality build materials on our pevs we want better screws we want them to be more loctite better we want better overall quality from impact protection like on a lot of eucs out there the quality is not as good, so when it gets impacted, it can damage the battery cells quite easily on the casings. And even with my friend from the eScoot channel, he has the Nami Born E that has been plagued with problems. We need better quality products because the stems were snapping on those premium electric scooters. So that is what we want, premium, better, high quality PEVs going forward. And I think as things develop, that's gonna be, that it seems to be going that way. So fingers crossed, to get better overall. Now this is just a small trend that I that seems to be happening, is tubeless tires. Now a lot of electric scooters I've reviewed have had the pneumatic tires. Tubeless would be really nice to see, and I think for even maybe EUCs, if they can adopt tubeless tires, that would be a nice trend to see. Something small, but it, you know, it's, it pains to change a tube on an electric scooter, even with a split rim, it's just more time consuming. It'd be something like the 9 Max that have that gel insert 
that's what we want on tubeless tires now let's talk about another important feature is smart bms now my friend robbie he got smart bms put on his nami bun e basically what a smart bms is is a smart battery management system so you can see the health of the cells in your pev and this is coming more to eucs and electric scooters and electric bikes which is great to see so you'll be able to just simply log into your app see how your cells are see the health of the cells and this i guess if you saw something that wasn't balancing correctly or something that was completely totally out you would be able to rectify that problem or fix it because of course fires do happen at the end of the day and the in motion the new in motion rs scooter that God, uh, that would, that's my dream scooter, but it's so expensive right now. That has that adopted into that. Now, the last one I've talked about on pretty much so many of my videos, my review videos and stuff like that, is, of course, we want better IP ratings. Now, a good example of this is the latest, like what I mentioned, the Inmotion RS electric scooter, which is IPX7 rated, which means that can withstand pretty much any type like it's raining right now pretty much any type of rain downpour on that electric scooter for added peace of mind and it it, it has to be certified ip rated not just said by the manufacturer if it's certified which is done by an independent company that's even better and of course i think the Begold, i think it's called Begold extreme their new euc they're bringing out because there's constantly new EUCs coming out. But as far as I know, that has a special waterproof technology, but it doesn't say what IP rating that is. But apparently from the testing, it's been tested literally underneath water. You know, that's really great to see. And even the Inmotion V13 EUC has fantastic IP ratings. So again, these trends are all good for all of us, but of course they come at a cost. We're gonna be paying more money for these type of EUCs. But if you're somebody that uses them daily for work, even for group rides, meeting up with your friends during the week, wherever the case is, the peace of mind we get for paying more will definitely pay off. And I would love to know your thoughts on all the points that I've made, all the trends that I think that it's going to be coming to us going forward. Please comment below and I will reply to you through a YouTube short if I can. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video.